Hey there, I'm Soumya. Welcome to this video. So recently, I've been diving deep into Next.js because I'm building an app with it, and that because obviously I wanted to learn Next.js because of its performance boost and stuff. And what better way to learn something than just building something with it? So recently, I deployed a Next.js app onto the internet. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can deploy your Next.js app onto the internet using Vercel, and I'll also show you some benefits of using Vercel as a platform to you know host your sites so let's get into it okay so it's pretty simple first you have to go to this versels site versel.com every link i'll be giving in giving it in the description and if you're thinking why we are deploying on versel because versel is the company or the folks at versel are the people who are maintaining the next js project or who actually made it so it's the the place to basically host your next js applications and it's also really clean and fast and it has some really great features and i'll show you that so let's just get into it. just log in or sign up if you don't have an account okay so as i've logged in you can see some of my projects being listed on the dashboard but we need to add a new project right so we'll tap new project um okay so now it's asking for a git repository where we have the thing where we have our project pushed so if you haven't connected your github account you can add your github account here by clicking it but i have done it before so it's already showing me that now if you don't see your projects don't think that it's not there just search it in here or search it in here or something now if you just don't find it now it will tell you to configure your app right because and why that happens and why that happens is that your github has not given versel the permission to get into what the repositories you have right the like the versel does not have access to that so you just have to provide versel the permission to do that so you just have to configure your github app it will ask you to log in uh, i have already logged in just select your account and um now just go down and you'll see the repository access either select all repositories which will give versal the access to all the repository you have so the next time what will happen is that anything you search in here that is in your github will just show up in here and you don't have to configure your github app right but if you just want to give it access to just some project of yours you can just select that repository the project's repository right so you can just type for example i'm gonna type a project uh, what i'm working on now so I can tap that you'll see it's been it's been added here so now if i just click save it will now it will now have access to that and it will show up here so now it has access to it so it just shows up in here and you can see it just recognized that it is using Next.js. so now you have to just import that and after you import it it will just ask you to give a team name i don't have a team so just skip that and yeah everything is just set for you okay so now it's building if you can just see um here it will be showing all the process that's happening on the terminal so one thing that i have learned from my mistake is that like uh, just use the next uh, link tag instead of your a tag because if you it recognizes you have used a tag somewhere it will just give a so um, that it will cancel the deploy it will not be deployed it will show error that and you have to also just make sure that on every page of yours on next chase you have exported that page uh, if you don't have an export it will show error right so just make sure of these simple things and now yeah the see all this animation like great right okay so one thing really great is that if you just push your code to main anytime now this app will be automatically redeployed by next.js it will just sense that you have got a new commit and it will redeploy um and another thing is that if you just push to any other branch than the main branch it will, you can just preview things so you can see okay you have added a new feature you're going to see how this works you can push that to any other branch so that's really great thing about using versal as a platform uh, so if you just go to now the dashboard uh, obviously you can just visit it and see that that it is working yeah you can see it it works now right okay so that is enough because this is an app i'm working on and i don't want to reveal everything now now i want to show you some great features that versal offers offers if you just deploy here so first thing is that analytics right you can enable this analytics and what will happen is that it will record uh, it will just um, analyze how your app works when the user interacts with it and that is something you obviously want to know to improve your app for the users right for a great ux experience that's what it says it will just give you insights on loading speeds responsiveness uh, visual stability and stuff so that you can contribute to a great end user experience so that is really great you can just enable this and probably you have to redeploy yeah 
so now you just have to redeploy and it will just deploy it again so that is one great feature of um using versal another great thing is that you can just get your domain you want inside the app so if i just tap here like my name it will show me the available domains right you can just tap in here and just continue and you can literally just buy it in versal right so that is really great feature now you don't have to leave the app or anything another great thing about versal is that it provides you integrations so for example you can just browse it marketplace and if you have an e-commerce site for example you can integrate it with versal's backend and stuff and if you want to query your logs of what your website is generating you can use that so you can use slack as an integration and whatnot okay so another thing is that i'll be making some videos on nextjs that i have actually just had to google somewhere and learn from somewhere so simple things that one needs to know when you are jumping from react to nextjs or just using nextjs as a framework so some videos on that will be coming up next so yeah that's it if you like the video make sure to smash that subscribe button that means a lot like the video if you loved it share it in your socials tag me up on twitter it will be really great to connect with you i'll see you in the next one till then have a great day and stay safe